number 15, we've got d of n is negative 3n cubed plus 5. h of n is 4n minus 2. We want to find g of n times h of n. It is literally just as simple as g of n is negative 3n cubed plus 5 times h of n is 4n minus 2. Binomial times a binomial, FOIL, box, whatever method you use. Negative 3n cubed times 4n is negative 12n to the fourth. The outside, negative 3n cubed times negative 2 is positive 6n cubed. The inside, 5 times 4n is 20n. And the last is minus 10. Don't have any like terms. n to the fourth n cubed n and a constant. That's as far as we can go with that. Okay. 16 is the same thing. Okay, it's just that other notation. F times G of N. Please do not multiply everything by N at the very end. Just multiply the two functions. If it if it helps you, you can write it like this. You can write it F of N times G of N. It's the exact same thing. So we take our f of n function, n cubed plus 3n squared, put it in parentheses, times our g of n function, negative 2n plus 3, in parentheses, we got a binomial times a binomial again, so we FOIL it out. n cubed times negative 2n, negative 2n to the fourth. Outside, n cubed times negative 3, negative 3n cubed, inside 3n squared times negative 2n, negative 6n cubed, and our last 3n squared times negative 3, negative 9n squared. This one we do have like terms. We have 2n cubed terms, so negative 2n to the fourth minus 9n cubed minus 9n squared is our final answer. You could pull, well, yeah, you could pull out of GCF, um, but it's not really the, the point of this, so they, they won't be in factored form, okay? But technically you could. Um, and actually we're going to have to in number 17. Number 17 is a division problem. Okay, so literally all we're going to do is we're going to put the g of n function over the h of n function. So g of n is 2n plus 4. h of n is 4n minus 2. What type of function did we just create? Anybody remember the name of that? Rational. Okay, fraction, ratio, rational. Okay, uh, so rational function. So we can simplify rational functions sometimes. If we can factor, that top has a GCF of 2. So factor out the 2, we get n times 2, 2 times n plus 2. Factor the bottom, it also has a GCF of 2. 2 times 2n minus 1. So we can cancel those 2s. So it's equal to n plus 2 over 2n minus 1. And one other thing, um, we need to state if there are any excluded values. What's the problem when we have division problems? What can we not divide by? Zero. So that bottom, 2n minus 1, is not allowed to equal zero. So let's find out what would give us a value of zero, and that would be one half. N cannot equal one half. Okay. So let's do like we've done with the other problems and let's look at combining this with plugging in an expression. 
So number 18, yes, we're multiplying g times h, but then we're plugging in x plus 1. Okay, we're multiplying g times h, and we're plugging in x plus 1. So, let's do the g times h part first. Negative 4x plus 2 times x cubed plus 2x squared. We multiply the first two terms, negative 4x to the fourth. Multiply the outside terms, negative 8x cubed. Inside, positive 2x cubed. Last, positive 4x squared. Simplify. Negative 4x to the fourth minus 6x cubed plus 4x squared We're not finished yet. That was just the g times h part. we got to plug in x plus 1. So everywhere we see an x, we're going to replace it with x plus 1. Now, before you freak out, I'm not going to make you actually work out this entire process right here. We're just going to leave it. But if you were to work it out, you would have to multiply x plus 1 times itself four times and then distribute the negative 4, multiply x plus 1 times itself three times, distribute the negative 6, multiply x plus 1 times itself, distribute the 4, and then combine like terms. But again, don't freak out. We're not going to do the whole thing. Okay? Um, let me do show you though. I'm going to pull up the answer from the answer key. And let me show you how we can check whether or not it's the same. Negative 4x to the 4th. I'm going to type it in my y equals. Negative 4x to the 4th. Minus 22x cubed, minus 38x squared, minus 26x, minus 6. Let's type in our answer. Negative 4x plus 1, 2 to the 4th, minus 6, times x plus 1, cubed, plus 4, x plus 1, squared. What am I looking for? The table, making sure all my y values match. Okay. This is a foolproof method um, for checking any of these guys, to check to make sure your answer is equivalent to an answer choice or the answer that I have up on the board or whatever it may be you at least know that they are equivalent to each other. You may not have the exact same form, but they are equivalent. Okay? So, works very well with multiple choice tests. Sigma number 19. Okay? Sigma number 19. F of A minus 4 times G of A minus 4. I'm going to approach this one from the other perspective. I'm going to plug it in first. Okay, just to show you that it works either way, I'm going to plug in, I'm going to find f of a minus 4 first, 4 times a minus 4 plus 1, so that's 4a minus 16 plus 1, so minus 15. g of a minus 4 would be a minus 4 squared minus 5. When we foil a minus 4, that's a squared minus 8a plus 16. If you got to go over to the side of your paper and work that out, that's fine. So when we simplify, it's a squared minus 8a plus 11. So now I'm going to multiply these two results. 4a minus 15 
times a squared minus 8a plus 11. So that is 4a cubed minus 32a squared plus 44a. That's when I distribute the 4a. Then we distribute the 15, negative 15a squared plus 8 times 15 would be 120. A and 15 times 11. I could work it out, but I'm going to be lazy for a second. 15 times 11. 165. Huh? To go away, you can uh, just press second load. Okay? Combine like terms 4a cubed minus 47a squared plus 164a minus 165. Okay, so exact same, I don't want to tell you, it's not the, it's not the same process. Okay, same problem. We're multiplying two functions and we're evaluating it as an expression, but I approached it two different ways. Okay, the first time I multiply the two functions and then plug in the expression. The second time I plug in the expression first and then multiply the two results. Either one should give you the same answer. Uh, you may prefer one method over the other. You may remember all the steps one way better than the other way. You have that choice. Yes, ma'am. Well, um, yeah, well, you would multiply the 4a plus 1 times the a squared minus 5. You multiply that out. You would do the f times g, and then you plug in the a minus 4 into the result. <coughs> All right, other questions? Okay, let's give a few of these try, 39 through 42. 